Hello, Vincent Black here. I'm getting sick and tired of noobs saying about the blender being too complicated with all its windows and buttons. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. To start with, click on the screen button at the top. It shows you all the different um, screens you can have. First one's animation, then there's model, material, sequence, then scripting, and the last one on the list is a custom one that I made called the movies. The animation, of course, as its title, is where you can, where it can help you with the animation. The screen is set up, timeline down at the bottom, button, button bar at the bottom, of course, 3D screens, IPO. Next one, model. This is the default one. The next one is material. Followed by sequence. This one helps you with splicing movies together. The scripting one has a big text pad off to the right and it's basically used for just writing out a script. You can load some. Um, you can put line numbers on there. And the highlight stuff will show up in your scroll bar. Okay, last one is the movies. Basically, three windows. You got the 3D outliner and the button bar. Okay, we're going to make a new one. We're going to click on new. And click on the word empty. Click on where it says screen. And we're going to type in my custom. You'll go out to the edge and you'll get these little double arrows. Right click. Click on split screen. And choose where you want to split at. It's just as easy as dividing up any kind of food. You can cut it up just like you're using a knife. When you left click in the lower corner there, you can choose what you want in the window. Ba 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 varan ba 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 varan you can also join the screens by right clicking and by right clicking on the edge and saying join screen. Now about the buttons bar. When you click on the buttons bar and you right click with it, you get this thing called panel alignment, horizontal, vertical, and free. You can drag the tool, little toolbar at the bottom by using the middle mouse wheel thing or both the left click and right click at the exact same time and dragging it. You can select any mesh to add to your default screen. I picked the monkey. Come here, banana. Most of this is kind of obvious. Or, or, or it's very odd parents, right? No, very odd parents and nobody reads the manual. You can put, you can right click on the toolbar and you can put it in the top or the bottom or none at all. If you choose to. Go to the button and say free. Then you can drag all, all the tabs around. Turn them here and there. Once, however you decide to do it, once you're done, you go to File, click on Save Default Setting, and voila, every time you start, this will be your screen. Now I'm going to open up another file.
hit new, erase all, and it brings me back to the screen. You can scale the buttons, holding control key and, and scrolling with the middle mouse button. You can delete by clicking the black X right next to it. And that is all. Sign off. Hope to see you again. Watch out for my newest movie coming out this year called Evil Child, the movie. No, I swear that looked like the real thing. <laughs> no! And by the way, it was close to real time too. Look, it's going on to midnight. That thing ended at, um, I don't know, 40. By the way, how's my hair? Is it still okay? Do you think I should get it done?